know, we just we got to be accountable for that loss. We have nobody to uh, look at but ourselves. Uh, we lost that game in the second quarter, obviously. Um, you can't play a great team like Middle Tennessee, um, get outscored 24 to 5, and expect to win. You know, with that being said, obviously we had a great fight in the second half, um, but it's just it's just disappointing that we were in that position. And I think for me personally, it's just disappointing because we're in that position based on lessons I thought that we have learned. We're not the same basketball team when Nye and Lai are in foul trouble. Everybody in this room knows that. But they're picking up fouls in that second quarter and it crushed us. We can't let our offense affect our defensive intensity. I thought we would have learned that lesson by now. We lost our, completely lost our defensive intensity in the second quarter. And it was based on us not making shots. So the only people we can look at ourselves right now is ourselves in the mirror and understand that we are a good enough team to beat this team that we played today. But we have to do what is required all the time. And that is the biggest fight that you have with young people these days, in my opinion, as a coach, is they think most of the time is good enough. Shoot, I shouldn't even say young people. In life, a lot of people, they think most of the time is good enough. Well, if we do it three out of four quarters, we can win. That's not life. You have to be great for 40 minutes. You have to do what is required all the time in order to win. How you do anything is how you do everything. We preach it all the time, but we have not completely bought in. And that's too bad because we obviously were in complete control of our destiny and we have nobody to point the finger to but ourselves. So we have a choice as a team right now. Where are we gonna go from here? Obviously it's a very devastating loss, no doubt, but we have a choice and we can finish this season well at home and we can play well and go into the tournament and see what happens. But they gotta make that choice in the locker room, which team we're gonna see. I'll be here every day to help them and push them, but we have to make those decisions and we have to be able to play for 40 minutes. So we can point fingers and we can look at, you know, mistakes that we made. We shouldn't even have been in that position. If we take care of what we're supposed to take care of in the second quarter and we don't foul, we stay disciplined, we get out on the shooter. I mean, we gave up five threes in the second quarter. They make eight for the game. We didn't even get out and contest. We do our job and then we don't even have to come down to that last possession. You know, to their credit, they wanted to win. You know, they, they knew the position that we were in. I mean, we're gonna own it, we're gonna talk about it. We knew if we can close out, we could get a buy. And it's almost like every, it was almost like every possession they felt like was dictating the game. Where obviously every possession is important, but we just, we're play, we were playing so frustrated. And we said in that third quarter, like, we just gotta, we just gotta play and enjoy playing. Because when this team plays with great joy and they celebrate each other, we play very well. And I thought right then, we, we flipped the switch. Um, well, I know personally speaking for myself, I know I'm coming off a bad game and I feel like last game I let my team down and I made a choice that I'll never do that again. So that was my mindset coming into the game. Yeah, we don't have any time to feel sorry for ourselves. Um, and again, I gave them that message in the locker room. We have to make a choice. Um, how are we going to finish? And we have an opportunity to play at home and to finish strong and finish well. And I think I know the character of our team and that's what we'll do. So we get a day to regroup tomorrow and, um, you know, they've got to come together and be ready to come back and fight, you know, and follow Dara's lead. You know, I'll go right off what she said. You know, uh, I love coaching Dara because she always owns it. And she didn't play well at Western Kentucky. She said it in front of the team to start practice on Saturday. And, you know, she came out and we knew they weren't going to play her and that she was going to need to score and she was going to need to rebound. And that's exactly what she did. So we need more of our players to continue to follow Dara's lead. Yeah, I think, I mean, the most important thing, and I have to remind myself of this as a coach with Mo, is that we just got to keep, keep giving her opportunities. Um, she's a freshman and she's going to make mistakes, uh, but she's also a gamer. And when the game's on the line, she has the ability to make great plays, as you saw in the fourth quarter of this game. So we wanted to just keep kind of going with her and, um, you know, with the hopes that we would see that, that Mo that we've seen most of this month. And, um, you know, I thought she did, obviously, a really good job uh, in closing this fourth quarter for us.